Hey girl, I never even said your name. I never, I don't even know who you are. I ain't on ADHD. I can't. They be thinking they a little better than you. You know what I'm saying? But bitch, you definitely can drop down and you can wipe some ass, okay? Fuck on the day shift. I ain't even gonna hold you. That's just how. Bitch, I'm not going back and forth with nobody. My thing is, if I'm arguing with you, bitch, I'm finna swing on you. Cause that's just follow the story. And if you don't follow it, put it down in the comments. I need to go get the money. Go get the money, okay? <laughs> so Cause you don't know what love is. If you don't put a buffer. Y'all, I am sleepy. I got one hour to go before I get ready to get these people up. So, y'all just saw what the hallway looked like, right? I'm about to close my eyes until it's time for me to get these people up because I'm ready to go home. But I'm thankful. Second shift work. Today is September the 10th. I came into work last night at 7 p.m., which was September the 9th. Y'all was still so tired from sitting up in that school all freaking day. Like, they had me sitting at school all day. Um, but, yeah, I need to take me a little nap. I've been staying up as long as I could. It is 4-11 right now. So, I just wanted to come in and check with you guys. I just put my laptop in my bag, y'all. Because um, I was just watching um, a few YouTube vlogs from some of my girls. Um... I didn't even know my girl Meek had dropped two vlogs. So I just watched those. Um, as told by Tanisha, she dropped the vlog and some shorts. I was just watching I Am Dime. I did watch um, So Classy Angie's vlog. Like I just been sitting here watching vlogs. Lily dropped the vlog too. Um, something about Sweet 16. So it might be uh, Mumu's. Well, she called her Mumu, but Mariah's uh, birthday or something. So, yeah, I just put my laptop away, you guys. I'm about to chill this last hour. It's so cold up in here. I'm so glad that I brought my sweater, y'all. It's so freaking cold. And my one lady over here, honey, she been, baby, she been working me tonight, okay? She been definitely working me. But um, other than that, it's real chill and it's real laid back. I'll let y'all see. It's nothing going on, y'all. I get off at 7 o'clock, so I'll try to come back to you guys. If not, I'm going to end this vlog here. I just uploaded a vlog to YouTube, so I still got to kind of like finesse and do my little title and all of that. And then I got another vlog that I edited tonight as well. Dang, my lips feel dry. I got another vlog that I edited tonight as well, you guys. So, I don't know. That's the Chicago vlog. So, y'all will get that vlog. All those will come out before y'all even see this vlog. So, yeah. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, girl, tell your friends to tell their friends so we all can be friends. I'm going to end this vlog here. If I get off in the morning and the sun is out and I'm getting ready to drive home, I may pick y'all back up because by then I've been and woke up. But if I don't, we'll start a new vlog. We'll start a new vlog. This is the end of this vlog. Vlog September the 10th. All right, bye. y'all oh my god today is september 11th y'all i'm just now getting off of work the time is 706 a.m i've been at work since 3 p.m yesterday on tuesday september the 10th 
Y'all, I'm all discombobulated. I tell y'all that much, okay? I'm tired. I feel sleep deprived, okay? I've been working since I got back from Chicago, y'all. I think this is gonna be a new vlog because I was so sleepy last night. I was trying to um edit a vlog, y'all. It's still loading. My one previous one is still loading from the other day. Then I just tried to edit one last night. Girl, my eyes. I couldn't even keep my eyes open, girl, okay? So, I don't know about that. And then um, the damn internet at the house is acting crazy so we had to call them they supposed to come out this morning so i haven't really even been able to get on the laptop at home because the damn internet something didn't happen to the internet well um they have to come they have to send a technician out i'm like for the fucking internet like y'all can't press a button press the button okay but um i'm getting ready to go home right now you guys i gotta be back at work at seven o'clock i'm i'm grateful i'm not complaining because this is what i asked the good lord for was to just bless me with shifts and baby he blessed me with shifts i'm off tomorrow though she switched my day from tomorrow for me to work Friday a morning shift. So Friday, I'm gonna work a 7, 8, and 7 P. But let me just tell y'all real quick a quick little story time. Y'all know I always ask her, look at my hair. Girl, I'm tired. Look at, girl, you tired. Like, what? <laughs> but let me just tell y'all real quick. So yesterday, I went in at work at 3 o'clock, right? Mind you, I left at 7 o'clock yesterday morning. I left to go home only to come back at 3 because they had a four-hour little shift up there. Hold on, let me see if I can put y'all right here real quick, y'all, so I can tell y'all about this foolery, okay? Uh, oh, the light just changed. These people gonna be blowing at me. Hold on. Don't blow. I just told y'all the people was about to be blowing the damn horn, too. I'm trying to put y'all up in this damn phone thingy. Okay, is that working? Yeah, I think that's working, but ooh, now the light done changed. Girl, okay, is that working? Okay, I think that's right. Oh, that's part of it now. Let me see if I turn y'all. Oh, then it's gonna fall. Dang, this big ass truck. It's this way. Oh my God. Okay, hopefully that works. And if I hit a bump or something, it don't come off or whatever. Dang, this big ass garbage truck. Okay, yep, go where you want. Okay, so yesterday I got to work at... So mind you, I worked the night before y'all and I got off of work at seven yesterday morning. So they had posted a um, four hour shift up there and I've been grabbing them four hour shifts. So that way it could be like a 16 hour shift for me and I can like make the most of the money, right? So it's a new scheduler at this place that I'm working at girl. And that it was problems with the other scheduler that we had that because you know, because I'm out of town, I'm from out of town. They don't recognize my name if they get a new schedule because this place be having like a half turnover rate, right? Y'all, so they have a new girl there. So when I first came back down here, um, when I moved back down here in um, August, right, I had a shift out there and it was, they was like, oh no, you know, this guy, he not here no more. It's this girl now. So I was like, okay, so I did meet her and you know, I let her know like, yeah, you know, my name Dominique, I'm from out of town, you know, so when I pick up shifts here, nine times out of 10, I get my shifts, my shifts don't be getting can canceled and stuff. So she was looking like, oh, okay, yeah, right, okay, boom. I ain't had no problems out of her. I seen her the other day or whatever, and she was like, um, I had seen, I say, oh yeah, um, I'm down for this week. You sure you need me for all this week, which I'm talking about this week right here? And she was like, yeah, and I was like, okay, well, if anything changes, can you like let me know or cancel me ahead of time so that way I can look for another shift somewhere? So she was like, yeah, so I guess that's why she called me the other day, y'all. She called me and she was asking if she can take me off of tomorrow, which is Thursday, and put me on for Friday on a day shift because I told her if she don't have any night shifts for me and she feels she got to cancel she can put me on the day shift and i'll come in this motherfucker on the day shift i ain't even gonna hold you that's just how how bad i need to go get the money go get the money okay <laughs> so that happened right boom i get in there last night so already the scheduler they had already told me like watch out from her or whatever you know what i'm saying like she be doing some sneak slick stuff she be canceling people's shifts because she got her sisters her cousins her friends and they all up in there working lazy than a motherfucker don't want to do anything right prime example i get in there yesterday on my three o'clock shift okay y'all if this all over the place excuse me y'all know i got this dang on adhd i can't stay on one topic i don't know about my consistency all that so just follow the story and if you don't follow it put it down in the comments and be like flawless now what had happened you know what i'm saying and then i try to explain it to y'all so 
I get in there yesterday or whatever. So my same people that I had yesterday morning when I got off, I got them same people back when I went in there yesterday at three o'clock, y'all. Okay, y'all following? Hold on, let me get over real quick. You gonna let me get over here? Thank you. So, um, boom. They was like, oh, okay, you got the back, period. I'll take the back. I had them yesterday. These are the people that I got up, right? So, when I get, get my people up, if the bins is nasty, I strip the bins. And then it's up to day shift to make the motherfucking bed because you got to lay them down after breakfast and after lunch or whatever. So, boom, I get in. Why the bins that I stripped ain't even made? Look like ain't even nobody been back up in the room since I left the room yesterday morning, okay? Y'all. So one of my ladies, she was like, can I get some ice water? Boom, I go get the ice water. But boom, I see my other ladies out in the dining room who beds is still not made, who I know I got them up and dressed this morning. They, you could tell they didn't lay down. Their hair was still how I combed their hair, everything. They was still perfectly fine, y'all. So I'm going up there to get the one lady her ice, and I look and I see them, and I'm like, they look the same. And you know me, before I knew, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, damn, they look the same as they look when I left this morning. So I know they ain't been changed, right? So the girl, the, the sister girl from the scheduler, she came from around the nursing station because I guess they pulled her from being on the floor to work in the car. You know, these bitches got these CMTs and these motherfucking med licenses and shit. You know what I'm saying? They be thinking they a little better than you. You know what I'm saying? But bitch, you definitely can drop down and you can wipe some ass, okay? Don't, don't, come, don't come at it like that or whatever, right? So she was like, I got pulled to the car at 2 o'clock. So when my man, boom, the light bulb hit me. Like, okay, so you... I left at 7. You went on the car at 2. So you mean to tell me from 7 to 2, you ain't touched no motherfucking body? You ain't did anything to no motherfucking body, bitch? What you been doing? So I got that. They all was at the nursing station sitting at the desk on their phone. Mind you, these is all the staffing girls' family members I'm finding out or whatever. So they feel like they ain't got to do shit, right? So when I said that, she came out from behind the desk and she was like... Well, I didn't have time to change over. I got on the car at 2 o'clock. Like, she wanted to be confrontational. And I'm like, yeah, I don't be doing that shit, bitch. Because if I'm arguing with somebody at work, bitch, we finna square up. I'm finna fight because I, I ain't the arguing type of person. And I be trying to change myself and man my business because, bitch, I'm not going back and forth with nobody. My thing is, if I'm arguing with you, bitch, I finna swing on you because that's how I feel. Stop talking. So I'm just listening. I'm like, yeah, whatever, girl. You know what I'm saying? She steady, rah, rah, rah. And I said, well, I said what I said. Come on, Miss Carol. Let me, you know, get you on back here whatever girl why the fuck she must was on the phone she had the phone right here like you know in her little spot right here why the fuck she um i guess it was the sister on the phone girl so after i you know leave from right there and shit i go back down there make the bed and shit so as i'm coming back because the lady didn't have a um she didn't have a uh what's that thing called a gown she didn't have a gown so i had to go and get the gown for the lady but i had to walk all the way back down around the hallway so who coming up the hallway the sister so she walking dead up towards me and I'm walking dead up towards her because bitch what, you know? Girl, why the hell she was like, um, is something wrong, Dominique? Is there a problem? I said, did somebody tell you something was wrong? She was like, well, I'm just trying to make sure, you know. I said, yeah. I said, the problem was, she was like, well, what was said? I said, well, the problem was that I said I left here at 7. And the same group of people that I had when I left at 7, I could clearly look at them and tell that they haven't been changed. I'm down there making bids. Bids still haven't been made. Why am I coming in at 3 o'clock doing something that they shift should have did? You know what I'm saying? Girl. So she was like, the sister was like, well, she said you was talking about me. No, no. I said, girl, I never even said your name. I never, I don't even know who you are. I said, and another thing, I'm, I'm not going to argue with nobody. I got four grown sons, baby, and I don't deal with nobody's daughters, and I'm not going to deal with nobody's fucking uh, daughter up in this job, whatever, right? So I walked off. I said, when she come, when you ready to talk to me, you talk to me because I'm not doing that. So, boom, me and her went right over there, to, you know, to schedule the girl. We walked to the side or whatever. So when we walked to the side, girl, tell me why. I was like, is that your friend? She was like, oh, that's my sister. I said, oh, well, you already know how your sister is then with all that rah-rah. You know what I'm saying? Because I could get rah-rah, but I don't do, I don't be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be trying to change myself. You know, like, I be praying and asking the good Lord, you know what I'm saying, just to watch my tongue and to watch my attitude so that I could stop being the one that's so snappy on people and shit. Girl, that was that. 
Why I go over to the other unit at 7, right? Because I got moved. I worked over there from 3 to 7. And then from my 7 to 7 shift, I got moved. And I ended up going on another unit, girl. Why everybody in the motherfucking building, girl, got problems out of these girls? Out of, out of the girls' families and all that. Because they all saying that they lazy and they don't do shit. Y'all better stop playing. I told them, yeah, I got to start finding me somewhere else to go. Because I've been coming out here going to that place uh, for a few years now. Probably like over three years, y'all. I've been going to this one place where I know I could come down here and I could work my motherfucking shifts without no problems. And now, all of a sudden, y'all got all these ghetto assholes up in here. Baby, y'all can have it. Y'all can have it. So, after I work my shifts this week, I'm going to be definitely looking for somewhere else to go. Because, y'all, I'm definitely trying not to go back to that psych place. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to deal with nobody bed bugs. This is the place I worked at, y'all, with the mice. I ain't seen no mice up in there or whatever. But, they say they still up in there. And how about all that kitchen people walked out, y'all? All the kitchen people walked out. Like, what the hell going on with this place that people is just leaving like that? I said, babe, don't worry about it. Let me just get my money real quick because I got shit to do. I think that's another reason too why I've been holding my tongue because I know I need my motherfucking buddy. So I really been holding my tongue. But baby, if you don't want to take care of these people, don't come to fucking work because I'm telling you, baby, that is not a good look on you that you let these people sit and shit and piss all fucking day. Granted, I don't be wanting to do my motherfucking job, but bitch, I, I got a heart and I care about the fucking residents. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bitch, I might talk shit right and they just shitting and that shit stink. I might be in that motherfucker talking shit and, and rolling and, and, and do, tucking their asses, but I'm going to clean them. I'm going to make sure I check up on them. I'm going to make sure that while I'm there for those hours, I'm doing what I'm getting paid to fucking do. I'm not there just sitting the fuck down, you know? I was so fucking mad, y'all. Then I was so tired last night. I came out to the car, took like 50 naps. I kept putting the time on 15 minutes. Hey, Siri, set an alarm for 15 minutes. Set an alarm for 15 minutes, baby. That's just how tired I was, okay? I was so tired, I couldn't even smoke the rest of my motherfucking blood. Usually, y'all, I break, baby. I call it and I get by myself together. No, ma'am. But that's that, y'all. I had to come and tell y'all that little rat on this little rat home, baby. Because I'm telling you, girl, people be, people be definitely crazy. Because you mad. You mad that you ain't touched these people. Oh, and when I said that, they said that the girl be getting loud and shit. That's what the other girl had just told me. Watch it, sir. They said that she be getting loud, girl. Because why she tried to get loud after I had said that the people haven't been changed? Why she gonna try to say one of the ladies that on my hall that I had last night, well, the night before... She gonna try to say that she went in there and the lady was double briefed. Now, if she was double briefed, it may have been while I was there. But I guaranteed you before I got ready to motherfucking leave, baby, that motherfucking pad came off. Bitch, I don't know none of y'all. I don't trust none of y'all. Like what? Like what? I'm like, these people is crazy. They be giving these little staffing jobs to anybody. And these people be getting these little jobs with these little titles. And they let it go to their head. Baby, I got fired from a whole job for cussing the CEO out. Because we are sitting in the meeting in the, in the uh, meeting at a place that I used to work at down here. And the lady, uh, she was looking across the, the um, table from me. And she rolled her ass. Now, we all know, baby, when somebody rolling their damn ass, baby, you know me. I'm like... Excuse me, did you just roll your eyes at me? She's like, huh? I said, did you just roll your eyes? I said, if you rolled your eyes, that was very unprofessional of you as you being the CEO. Oh, baby, why the supervisor lady was like, Dominique, you cannot talk like that. Who said I can't talk like that? She rolled her ass. That's disrespectful. I don't give a fuck about nobody's title, y'all. I don't care. Baby, they was like, uh, you can go back out on the floor. Once they meeting was over, girl, I was out on the floor. They had came and they was like, Dominique, you could go home for the day. Bitch, gladly. Gladly. And then I didn't go back. Like, they fired me. And then guess what? That CEO ain't even at that damn place any goddamn moment. So, bitch, who winning? You? I don't think so because they let your ass go too. I said, these people is crazy. She was a white lady too. She was crazy as hell. She had just got that job too, y'all, thinking that because she the CEO. Bitch, that doesn't mean anything to me. At the end of the day, respect goes a long way with me. And if you don't fucking respect me, I'm not going to respect. I don't give a fuck. You could be the mother, the son, the holy. I don't care. 
respect me. I don't give a fuck because you feel like I'm the C C C C N A and you the CEO. What make you better than me? Bitch, God brought us all here. And he ain't say one person was better than the other. So, clock that. I said, these people is crazy, y'all. I, I swear I be feeling like I need to find another field to be in. Because this healthcare shit, it didn't change. It used to be fun to go to work. It's not fun no more. It's not fun no more. We used, I used to be looking forward to going to work. We used to pack our little bags and shit. Look forward to having lunch and shit. Have our little smell goods in our bags. Ready to get our residents all together. Baby, it's like after COVID hit. Baby, everybody just want the money. I mean, I want my money too. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, I'm going to make sure that I'm taking care of them people. Because guess what? If something was to happen to me, I would want to know that it was good in my heart and my spirit. That God going to cover me and make sure that whoever taking care of me going to do the best job that they can do while they're there. And that's all I tend to do. As long as I can keep them clean, safe, and dry, that's all I care about. Ain't nobody on the goddamn flow. That's all I care about. Oh, and then why did I find out too, y'all, that her boyfriend works there, the girl that was trying to call herself, trying to say like she changed the people and shit, getting all out. Her man works there. Now, I seen her man the other day when I was there. He's damn Garcia Vegas, y'all. But um, the man... Uh, her, her boyfriend was there the other day why did one of my residents go out to the hospital the night before last when I was there y'all the lady when I got there she was getting on the stretcher going to the hospital I'm like damn what the hell wrong with the lady girl why the fuck the lady fell down the lady shouldn't even be transferring herself why did the lady fall down and him and her they stand around there that him and her picked the lady up now if you've been in healthcare and you a, C a CNA or anything you know goddamn well if somebody fall on the floor you're not supposed to touch them am i right or am i wrong they picked this fucking lady up didn't tell the nurse that she fell and like just let and y'all let these type of people work up in y'all damn facility the lady went to the hospital got a fractured fucking arm her arm they pulled something in her arm her arm is broken y'all i said what the fuck I said, but ain't nobody saying nothing about that because I guess not. They don't even care if the people diapers getting changed. Like, what the fuck? What what we living in? That ain't nobody got no integrity to be leaving people and shit, to have somebody to fall. And, you know, like, y'all done fucked this whole lady damn arm up. And she's one. Her family is up there morning, noon, and night sitting with her. Like, she be having her whole room full with family members. You, I'm sure them family members is pissed the fuck off, baby. I'm sure they pissed. I can't wait to get these little days over with that because I'm going to find me somewhere else to go because I'm going to have to get that place a break. There's too many new people up in there. All the old people that I used to work at, they at another facility. They gave me the number. They want me to come over there. So I'm probably going to call them. I'm Actually, I might go out there today and just fill out the paper application because they said it's sweet out there. They said it's real laid back. They said, you know, it ain't all that crazy shit that she said they ain't got no aids out there so the nurses are the ones that's out there doing the work that's good because that means you got some good nurses they gonna help you and you ain't gonna be the only one walking around doing every damn thing while everybody else sitting down on their damn phones so that's that y'all i've been talking for 18 minutes so i'm gonna get up off of here slow down sir because i want to make sure that um i don't mess up my storage situation i told y'all the whole situation about the storage i am gonna try to make sure that i'm picking up the camera more y'all but i've just been working i told my husband too i'm like shit you when the, your next off day and my next off day we're gonna make sure that we spending time with each other because like i ain't seen my husband i seen him the night the day before last i seen my husband so just like yesterday i didn't see him and then now he going to work i'm not finna see him then he'll be at work when i'm leaving he going to be getting off of work and I'm going to be going to work. So I ain't, I, it's going to be like two days that went by and I ain't seen my husband. But you know, we've been talking on the phone or whatever. But yeah, I told him, yeah, we're going to have to set aside a day so we can go on our little date or whatever. Because I want to make sure that we still doing that and incorporating that. We ain't getting too busy with these jobs where we losing sight of us. Because that's what was happening before. We were so tied up on working, working. And, you know, we wasn't spending time with each other. And we just kind of had, you know, that's when all the shit started happening. We just was distanced from each other, you know. So I told him we can't do that this time. 
we definitely ain't gonna do that but yeah let me um go y'all i will talk to y'all because i'm here i'm finna park and then i'll talk to y'all please do not forget to like comment and subscribe i hope that little story time was not these people is all on my ass i hope that little story time was not all over the place you guys if it was i'm sorry i'm tired though but i was just trying you know i get excited when i be telling a story and shit i be getting excited i be wanting y'all to know what's going on so i be getting real excited i hate touching these goddamn buttons where's my hand sanitizer at Oh, and I got to touch it again. Did I put the number in wrong? Oh, there you go. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to go up in this house, y'all. I'm going to chill out for a little second. I probably even pull me a goddamn cocktail, baby, okay? I, I just probably might pull a cocktail, okay? But please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Girl, tell your friends to tell their friends so that we all can be friends. Let me let this motherfucker go, baby, because he on my ass. I want to know where you rushing to go to in the motherfucking parking lot, sir. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, I will talk to y'all. Oh, girl, that's what I was saying. Do not forget to tell your friends to tell their friends so that we all can be friends. I didn't gain 40 more subscribers, so thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for subscribing to my channel, okay? I appreciate all my old subscribers. Everybody, y'all, I, I really appreciate it, y'all. I be feeling like, you know, it be feeling like days you be wanting to give up, you know what I'm saying? But... We got to keep going. We can't give up, y'all. We got to keep on going. I know some of my girls was feeling a little discouraged and wanted to stop, but y'all, we got to keep on going. We can't stop. Like, we started to stop. Is that what we did? No, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. We didn't do that, y'all. We ain't start to stop. So, let's just keep on going, you know, and... We gonna be somewhere at the. At, it's gonna be a moment where we gonna be, you know what I'm saying, going on our little trips. You know, it's gonna be a moment where we gonna all be, you know what I'm saying, somewhere kicking it and stuff, doing our little content. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be lit. That's gonna be lit. All right, so I will talk to y'all. Y'all have a great day. Okay, enjoy y'all day. Don't let people like the people that I experienced last night to, you know, disrupt your peace because that's what they was trying to do. And I just walked right on. I, I didn't even let it bother me because at the end of the day, I know that I'm there to get some money so that me and my husband, my family, we can move about this fucking trap house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready to go. Even my husband, he had said that, look, this is 22 minutes. Like, look, oh, my God. I, let me just tell y'all this, though, and then I'm going to go. But when my husband was having a talk yesterday when um he called me when I was at work. Y'all, these, these birthday lashes, I want these motherfuckers off that i don't know what i did different to make these lashes stay on my face like this i want these lashes off like can, can they come off i'm gonna go in there today and try to see what i could do but then i mean i'm gonna have to put another set on but i need to wash my hair because i called myself laying my hair down yesterday y'all and was at work sweating and this this is what i'm looking like this morning so it needs to be washed because it ain't been washed since before i went to um chicago i usually try to wash my hair every few days why the fuck is he walking with this damn drill what are you doing, sir? Um, girl, there's some crazy folk over here, okay? There's some crazy folk over here. Um, but yeah, he walking with the drill in his um hand, girl. So what I was gonna get ready to say was me and my husband was having us a conversation. Look at him, bro. These people is crazy. Dang, I can't the camera won't even turn all the way over there. Girl, the people is crazy. But um, so we was having a conversation and the conversation was just basically like I was telling him like you know I'm so ready to take a bath like I'm so ready to go you know and girl my husband was like yeah I was like no I was like I want, I'm ready to be comfortable you know and my husband he was like yeah baby me too I'm ready to be comfortable too he was like I'm ready to get up out of here too I don't like it just was something that I moved in after you left you know just like that he like well yeah I'm ready to get out of here too I don't like it no <laughs> more I'm like okay period like he's saying it girl he started talking about the roaches like the goddamn roaches and then motherfuckers, everything keep breaking up the hill. <laughs> 
So I was like, oh yeah, baby, that's the cue right there. It's time. So that's why I'm like, bitch, I got a whole nother plan, bitch. So what you talking about don't even matter. I'm finna get these people together and I'm gonna keep it moving, baby, because I don't have time to be arguing with people because I'm not the arguing type of person. Like anybody know me, you know I'm not finna argue with you. I'm not, I'm gonna let you say a few words. I might say a few words and then you gonna get to talking over me and I'm just gonna hit your ass. Like that's just what it is. And I be trying to change that about me. But you know, people be definitely trying you. And I be, I, I definitely be trying to work on that to try to not let somebody just make me haul off and slap the fuck out of them so that's why you know i'm trying to do things a little differently now because baby if you know me you know i'm not gonna talk long you know it I'm a, we, like i said you're gonna say your little shit i'm gonna say my little shit and you're gonna say that one little shit that's gonna piss me off and i'm gonna be like bing you know so it's just like why would I be fighting at work? You know, why? Why would I do that? Because I know I need some money. Because, baby, bitch, you're not going to disrupt what I got going on. And when I'm trying to get the fuck up out the trap house. Oh, uh, okay. Now, bitch, catch me after I get out the trap house and get somewhere comfortable. Then we might have, we might have, we might have to revisit that. <laughs> But yeah, let me go, y'all. I've been already talking to, for 25 minutes. That's because I'm sleepy right now. And now that I didn't park, I don't even want to get out the car. But yeah, I'm about to get out the car. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me know how this look too. Because I'm using the front camera right now. That's probably why I'm not looking the right way. Because it seems like the, the piece over here. And I need to be looking over there. But it's like I'm looking straight ahead. That's not what you're supposed to do, I'm sure. But oh well. Just watch the vlog. Just just watch the vlog. That's, that's just another thing too. You know, you just kind of feel like the views don't be viewing so it do be feeling like dang do you keep on going you know but yes we keep on going we're gonna keep on posting our content we're gonna keep on pressing play on our cameras and we're gonna keep on recording and we're gonna keep on doing what we need to do y'all that's just what it is we ain't giving up so to my girls as told by to me um a place for her uh my girl trisha nicole my girl Meek Mill, Meek Lachey, that's what her name is. I be called that. She make me want to say like Meek Mill because you know I'm thinking of Meek Mill. But yeah, Meek Lachey, y'all follow her. Um, who else? I might be forgetting somebody because I can't think of all the names off the top of my head. But y'all know who y'all is. Y'all know. Keep pushing, girl. We got this, okay? We got this. It is destined for us to be right here where we are right now. That's what it is. We got this. Cause you don't.